hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, back from boxing. Now, nah, man, Jiller, Gerald, Big Baby Miller, man, wow. He, he had a wild, wild year last year, man. And, um, you know, a lot of controversy behind the guy. And, uh, you know, his, his promotion company promoting him, you know, they basically had to uh, put this guy on the shelf. Put the guy on the shelf. But it's 2020 now, man. And um, they talk, there's talks and rumblings about Jerry Miller signing with top rank. Now, it's a really big deal, man. Uh, there's an article that just came out recently. They're talking about how Anthony Joshua, uh, you know, he was supposed to fight Joe Miller, and that never fight, fight never happened, right? Now, that being said, you know, they're actually talking about Joe Miller signing with top rank and he, him fight, fighting one more time in 2019, right? Now, the big deal is he was supposed to be fighting Kurbat Poliv. Now, if you guys didn't know, man, Kurbat Poliv is extremely high rank, ranked in the WBA, you know, rankings. He's really highly ranked. Or one of the sanctioned bodies. I forgot which one. Maybe it's, I think it's the WBA. But that being said, man, you know, uh, people were saying that Anthony Joshua was going to have to defend his belt against Kobat Polev. But I think there would be a eliminator fight to get Gerald Big Baby Miller to fight uh, Kobat Polev for an eliminator to fight Anthony Joshua, man. You know, um, the, uh, Top Rank's going to have to pay a lot of money to get Big Baby Miller under their promotion company. And they're going to have to make some big promises for him to get you know, to to want to go to top rank in the first place, right? So we're gonna see how everything unfolds, man. You know, while there's a lot of controversy under uh, Big Bay Miller, the guy's still an exciting fighter. He's still, you know, he's just you know what you're gonna you know what you're paying for when you watch just Big Bay Miller. You know, you're gonna fight, you're gonna see an aggressive, hyper aggressive, big 300 plus pound guy just throw punches at you, throw punches at you and never stop and, and being in your face. You know, the guy. You can't say the guy is just there for a check. The guy's trying to win the fight, you know. He's trying to win the fight. And I think he's naturally that big and, and strong. You know, I, I I don't think he's always been on the drugs. I think he just, you know, had a moment of panic and, and did made the wrong decision. Made the wrong decision. It's unfortunate for him, but he definitely can um, definitely turn the tables around and, and have a great 2020. Now, that being said, Korobat Prolev, man, is is you know he's been an elite fighter for an extremely long time and in my opinion you know if this fight happens and joe joe big baby miller has this fight with Corbett Polev, Polev uh is most likely gonna make this guy uh joe miller travel it's most it's most likely he's gonna have this guy travel now if you guys don't believe me man uh i remember when Corbett Polev fought huey fury he made huey fury fight him in belgium that's where uh bulgaria i'm sorry that that's where um Korbat Polev uh, is from. He made Huey Fury travel all the way to Bulgaria, right? So that that was a pretty big deal, and um, you know, it, I he he made Kevin Johnson travel to uh, Bulgaria. He made Derek Tejoa, big name, travel to uh, Russia. I think it's Russia, right? I I mean he'll have you travel everywhere. Right or or or, or, or it, you know so that being said, Kurat Polev has weight over there in foreign these foreign countries, so I'm really excited to see how this whole thing plays out. Uh, I would love to see uh, Big Bay Miller travel to a foreign country because that's just rare for a fighter to do that, uh, especially an American elite level fighter, you know. So we're gonna see how this whole thing unfolds, man. Big Bay Miller is one of my favorite fighters, man. I really like the guy, and we're gonna see how things unfold. Kovac Polev is a phenomenal fighter. He's getting old, so he's definitely going to have to fight these top contenders if he wants a title shot. Um, and they're not going to just give it to him. You know, they're not going to just give it to him. So let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Do you guys think Joe, Big Baby Miller is going to fight for that uh, that WBA eliminator? Or, 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 or be a uh, some? he's going to fight one of these champions this year? You know, people get really mad by people failing drug tests. But the fact that it matters is this. You know, Tyson Fury failed the drug test. Heavyweight champion, or heavyweight former champion, right? Uh, you know, Shannon Briggs fell a drug test. You know, former champion, WBA champion. I mean, I can keep going on and on. Luis Ortiz fell a drug test. I mean, there's so many of these top elite level heavyweight fighters that fell a drug test. It's rampant right now. And Jalen Miller is just one of the many who fell a drug test. I really don't think it's going to hurt his brand as much as people think. 
they're going to talk about it, Pavek and uh, fellow drug tests. But, I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. I mean, I can keep going on and on. But people, you know, they're, they're going to have to get over it because this is, you know, it's cleaning up, obviously. But it's so rampant that it really can't hurt you too much, you know. It's going to delay you, definitely, but it's not going to hurt you. Now, we're going to see how this whole thing unfolds, man. Big Bay Miller has a lot of making up to do, and the only way he can do that is inside the ring, not outside the ring. He needs to actually fight the best and get tested. Hopefully, there's testing with top rank. They've been real sketchy on that, man. I remember when Pacquiao was on the top rank, he didn't want to take any tests. Hopefully, they change that. Um, I know when he sanctioned anybody, at least supposedly, the WBC and the WBA had the VADA testing. The mandatory. If you're top 15, you have to get tested. So that being said, man, Joe Miller, he, he should be getting tested. Um, so that's facts, facts, facts. So we're going to, Big Bay Miller at this point, if he's ranked in the top 15, we should assume he's clean. We should assume he's clean. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. You guys think uh, Kuro Pulov has a chance? I, I watched the guy fight a couple times. Great fighter, great fighter. Uh, nothing incredible. He's, he's no special effects, but he's a solid fighter. Same thing with Big Bay Miller. He's just, just younger, stronger, bigger, and, and more imposing. You know, more opposing. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Do you guys think uh, uh, Joe Miller is going to fight for Kovac Polov? I'll link the article in the description. Crazy stuff, man. You guys need to read this article. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.